Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy, Roth. Mix of sun and clouds today, about 65 to 68. Uh, tomorrow, more clouds, about 67. And could have a touch of rain here uh, Friday into Saturday. Into, who knows? A little bit. Looks like a little little rain How's here and there. How's Sunday looking? Hey, you know, I see drops coming down, but it does, oh. I don't know that it's an all-day thing, you know? I mean, we're supposed to have our Mother's Day fancy dinner. And or lunch. I'm sure you'll have your... Are you going to be healthy enough for that? We're going to find out. I feel better today. Hopefully feel better tomorrow. If I feel really good tomorrow, it's on. Oh, super spreader event on the way. I don't way. have COVID, my Well, mm, mm. maybe you're just not testing positive, Candy. Maybe. Yeah, that's a thing when you know... Yeah. Right. Go it, go tell the CDC that. It's possible. Uh, yeah, all right. So, yeah, you might have a touch of rain, but it might also clear out. It's You're going to be fine. It's not an all-day uh, soaking rain that's going to ruin your day, okay? Right now, it's okay. just 65 to 68 for the f- foreseeable future, the next three or four days at least, and maybe some rain this weekend. We'll see. Uh, I know we have a few things to get into, but, uh, Candy, you were um, off the air telling me you had uh, big news about your son. What is what is happening here? Well, as you know, his in-laws... Uh, Tim and Esther uh, were looking for a home in Delaware. Uh, they got outbid by one of the homes that they wanted. Well, turn around. Uh, another one came on the market a few days later. They bought it. They're living there. They're going to be moving. Not moving there, but they'll be spending most, a lot of time there. They have a house in Delaware. They do. On the island where they wanted it at that Whatever development that I told you about. Twenty minutes from my in-laws. Done deal. Correct. Done Amazing. Deal. Incredible. Bought that house. Whoosh. Like that. Man, they they knew what they wanted. They went in. They got it, and there they and go. And they said they got exactly what they wanted from the uh, much like the original home that they bid it on hmm. and lost. Uh, but this one they won. So I said, Casey, I hope they invite me one of these. He goes, of course, Mom. Of course. We're going to have Thanksgiving and holidays, and of course. I said, I hope so. Uh, But we've already discussed um, the possibility of uh, going there at different times of the year. Like, you know, we give give my my in-laws kind of the heads up, like, all right, we might come here, we might come there, we might go in this time and that time. So you have to let me know when you uh, know what's going on, Kenny. Definitely will, definitely will. But that's exciting news. I'm very happy for them. And uh, that's all I've got on that for today. <laughs> that's, that's enough. Isn't that enough? That's good, great. I love people who know what they want. They go and they get it. Yeah, I mean, out of the blue, you just kind of dropped that on me, kid. Yeah, I didn't know. He forgot to tell me. Wow, that's that's incredible. Uh, yeah, they're going to be very happy down there. It's, I uh, will say, you know, with This Is Us, because we do have to get to that, mm-hmm. one thing before we really open up, both my boys called me to see how I was feeling yesterday, and after watching This Is Us... I went to bed with a smile on my face. I think I don't know if we should start in on this is us I don't right know now because whoa. I think yeah. If you haven't seen it yet. I don't know what to tell you, people. All right. Well, I mean, you, you started in on it already, I, so we'll, we'll stop and move on. All right. So we'll we'll get to this is us at about uh, seven forty seven or so. Uh, yes, we both. How did was watch your it. sick day yesterday? My my sick day was uh, okay. You know. Um, it was better than the day before. Good. I feel better today than yesterday. It's been like a roller coaster up and down. Yesterday was, was pretty good. Um, I don't, I'm going to test today to see what happens. You know, my, my daughters have their spring concert. I told you to test for another week. Well, my daughters have their spring concert and Amy and everyone's telling me not to test because it's going to take a while. But what if I test negative? I can go to their concert tonight, Candy. I tested negative, and you insist I still have it. Listen, I just want everyone to know the type of person I am, okay? I could very well put on a mask and go to my daughter's spring concert tonight. Nobody would know, other than the fact that we talk about the fact that I have COVID on the radio. Nobody would know, You know what scares me? How many people are thinking like you? Well, I'm sure everyone is. Come on. They, you know, if you don't have symptoms and you're feeling good enough right 
I mean, how do I put this, uh, give you an analogy or explain this? Right now, um, I, you know, there's little things here that are still clearing up on me, and I'm like, oh, okay, maybe I'm, so, I, I shouldn't push it, you know, maybe I, if I extend myself. I, I but, wait, here. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm in the middle of a thought, Candy. Oh, but I don't like it. I'm in the middle of a thought. Go ahead. I, uh... Like yesterday, I'm, tr I'm pushing myself a little bit. I went outside with Elijah. He was running around and trying to get him some fresh air and everything. And I put, and I felt, you know, very out of breath. And I'm like, okay, this is more than just being out of shape. This is like, I'm not ready to do this yet. So there's little things like that. But then there's other things like my head cold is almost clear. And if you told me, like, that I must do something today. Put put COVID aside. I don't have COVID, right? And I go and I I must be somewhere and must go do something. I could probably do it, right? So how many people do you think are strapping on a mask with COVID or not a mask and going about their business, Candy? Probably a lot of people. A lot. So, you know, I'm one of the good ones. I'm trying to protect my neighbor, okay? I think you need to stay put today. Well, I, I'm going to stay put, unless I'm negative. I'm going to test one time today, later on this morning. And don't play the game where you're not sticking it all the way up your nose and I, twirling for 20 seconds. You kidding me? I take the little Q-tip from the kids, and I'm like, listen, I'm doing the test. I, because I I want it to be an accurate test. I, I go up there. I, I'm telling you. I, we should do one. Should we do a test at a... Uh, I don't. I'm out of tests. I have to get more. Uh, well, all right. I, we tested so much that I'm out of them. All right. My um, school is not providing them for me. Yeah, I know. I get a ton from the school. Um, anyway, yeah, I still, I still have it. I'm going to test today, and we'll see. See, I haven't been short of breath at all. I was hmm. up and down the stairs. I mean, I was sweating like I ran a marathon yesterday because I went to the grocery store. I went to the flower shop. I went to a few places, but I didn't have shortness of breath. Oh, yeah. Didn't you go out yesterday? Big I news? Did. You I left did. the house? I had to get out of here. I couldn't stay here anymore. I've been here for a couple of days. No. Yeah, I had to get out of the house. So what was the, where'd you go? What was the big doings? I had to go buy more tissues because I'm <laughs> running out. Lord knows I'm using quite a few. Yeah. And uh, we were running out of toilet paper. I picked up a few things. Then I have two more pots to complete my deck look. Uh, so I went and bought the complete, you know, whatever else I needed to do that today and uh, came back here. And that's all I got. All right, so big it was day good. out. You know what? It was a good time to get out. It was really nice. Big. Love driving around. My chauffeur drove me all around and took me to all the places I needed to go. Very nice. Brian's a good man. He is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Candy, we come back with a special song at 7.30. 7.47 or so, we get into This Is Us. Oh. We shall discuss... Uh, your next bald in the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood, about 8-12. Uh, we do have about 65 to 68 the next few days. Some clouds, some sun, drizzle, sometimes not. It's going to be just kind of uh, middle of the road. We shall see. Uh, today looks to be dry. We hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country, 96.1.